Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Beatriz Revilla Romero. I'm doing a PhD at the Joint Research Center of the European Commission on Global Flood Forecasting. Today, I will, I will speak about flood monitoring and early warning systems for engagement rivers across the globe. Uh, this work has been done by two institutes of the Joint Research Center, as well as for the European Center of Medium Range Weather Forecast. And why floods? Floods are the, are the most frequent and devastating disaster type and for which there is not currently a fully operational early warning system in place. Uh, by the way, these pictures were taken uh, very close to my house last September in south of Spain uh, during a flash flood event. There are multiple challenges for uh, flood risk management and continental and global scale, which has been described for the YOIGO and now looking to for the post-2015 YOIGO Framework for Action 2. And these are knowledge and data sharing across uh, borders because uh, data sharing is one of the main issues when working at global scale. Also, uh, the need for transboundary collaborations, which I will explain later, and to do an effective use of the space-based earth observations and in situ measurements. And finally, the, uh, the use of uh, flood forecasting systems and early warning for uh, entire river basins, which means that we need to work at natural boundary, at natural and non-administrative boundaries. Uh, the GRC uh, Joint Research Center is engaged in the several steps of the disaster cycle. And today we will focus the talk on the tools for preparedness and crisis response. The GRC at the ECNWF has developed a prototype of the Global Flood Awareness System, uh, GLOFAS, we'll explain later, and the uh, GRC and the Dartmouth Flood Observatory has developed the Global Flood Detection System. Part of my research project is to improve these uh, tools and integrate them. The objective for global systems that today we will specify in the GRC global flood forecasting and detection system is to have uh, novel products for international aid organizations such as the new, new recently inaugurated uh, emergency response center as well as for the United Nations for the coordination of the humanitarian affairs. Also to provide an added value for national and regional uh, for forecasting agencies such as the SEMADEM in Brazil and the Mekong River Commission and to provide uh, com complementary information for local authorities. All this needs to be done in collaboration with the research and operational organizations. The first system that I will explain today is the Global Flood uh, Awareness System, GLOFAS, because uh, in Europe, uh, over the last 10 years, the GRC developed uh, the European uh, Globe Flood aw uh, Awareness System, which is running operational since last year. However, there was also the necessity for a global system uh, for uh, flood uh, forecasting. Uh, for this reason, GLOFAS uh, was developed uh, and is running quasi-operational since uh, 2011. This system uh, meets the objective for global uh, systems because it provides novel products for international aids because it has a global early flood uh, probability information up to 30 days in advance, as well as worldwide comparable information. This also adds a an value for national services because this system has a catchment-based information and, and probabilistic uh, ensemble predictions we differ for the deterministic forecast. Uh, Finally, when working at global scale with the end users, it's really important the communication for us. That's why GLOFAS is displayed in a user-friendly web interface where the different uh, levels of information are displayed, as you, as you can see in the image. Uh, GLOFAS provides probabilities uh, for large transnational river floodings at global scale. And uh, to explain you very briefly the setup of this system, it uses uh, daily input uh, static maps such as digital elevation model and land use, as well as for multiple weather forecasts. All this is integrated into a state-of-the-art hydrometeorological model, which is very heavy computationally, and give us a daily output of discharge forecasts as well as flood threshold accidents. Uh, these uh, thresholds have been calculated for a different return period of two, five, and 20 years. Uh, and has been classified into medium, high, and several alerts. Um, the second system that I would like to explain to you today is the Global Flood Detection System, GFDS. This also meets the objective that I mentioned before, 
because it had continuous mapping and estimation of the flat extent via satellite imagery. It's a global application which allows us to monitor also those rivers where there are not engagements, which means that there is no in situ observations, and provide an assessment of the flat impact. This system provides flat alerts based on daily water surface changes, measurements from the space. And uh, these flat alerts are displayed on a warm map, as you can see in the image below. And one of the advantages of this system is that it's necessity to cloud cover as other satellite products are. Now let me show you an example of the combination of flood forecasting and flood detection. It was done for the Elf River Flats of the spring of 2006. And in the graph, you can see the in-situ discharge observations, as well as the uncalibrated simulated discharge from GLOFAS and the estimated discharge from the satellite product. We can see that the onset of the, of the forecast is uh, well uh, detected and, the, and forecast, uh, the flats, per, excuse me, uh, however, the recession of the flat is missing on the GLOFAS uh, discharge, which is the green one, because this model at the moment is running and calibrated. So to calibrate the model, we need uh, in situ observations, but then we have the problem that uh, at global scale, there are many areas where the, this data is not available. That's why we are uh, studying to have the use as an alternative, the satellite estimate to calibrate our model. So the following steps of the research and development is to integrate these two innovative tools to make a robust uh, global flood risk management tool. This will be done firstly by improving the individual systems, by the using of the EFDS information to calibrate uh, the model GLOFAS, as I just mentioned before. Uh, also using this information for the post-processing of the GLOFAS uh, forecast. Thirdly, to identify the uh, satellite signals, the false satellite signals with the GLOFAS flood hazard maps, and, and fourthly, to complement the GFDS with the GLOFAS information for those areas where the satellite's uh, data doesn't perform well, as, as for example, some forested areas. And the second point is to integrate these novel probes will be done by the analog uh, methodology, which consists that we search in the archive of the detected events based on GLOFAS results, and then we will map the, uh, the event probability. The final target is to have a current uh, global information where flood forecasting and flag detection will be visualized into a single platform. So let me show you another example of the combination of flood forecasting and detection. Uh, in the map, which you can see the forecast from GLOFAS uh, for the 13th of se September of last year. And the reporting point is marked on the image match with the forecast of uh, the hydrograph that it was uh, for that day. And we can see that the peak of the flood um, uh, is forecasted for the 26th of September. If now we have a look at the forecast from GLOFAS a week later on the 21st of September, we also see that this, um, this, uh, the peak of the flood was also forecasted for that date. And now if we have a look what it was detected by the satellite, we see that the peak of the flood it was also detected for uh, that day. So now to, for, to finalize, said that uh, we need coordinated efforts to bring the gap between science and operations and to meet this multidisciplinary challenge, all the different disciplines need to be involved for, uh, for an eth effective uh, disaster risk reduction and climate risk management. The GRC is well placed in this uh, context because it is multidisciplinary in nature. So now to conclude said that we need a unique solution that integrates global flood detection and global flood forecasting to support the international aid organization as well as national and, and regional authorities. And the GRC is working to integrate the latest product of remote sensing as well as the state of the art of the hydrometeorological assembly techniques uh, and the first prototype shows encouraging results. And now to highlight once again that for the development of the global systems, we require the collaboration and the input from science, operational services, and policymakers. So now to uh, just say thank you for listening. I will be happy to reply some of your questions now. But if you need further information, I will be at the stand of the European Commission. Also, I encourage you to come because uh, 
for me, it's very important to know the needs of the for the potential and uses of the systems. Also, I recommend you to read our papers that have some copies if you need them, and uh, also contact us by email or through the website. Thank you very much. <laughs>